G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. What we're going to be looking at in this video is multiplication involving decimals. And there's going to be lots and lots of examples, so you're going to get really good at this. So let's launch into this. We'll start off with something nice and easy 3.6 multiplied by 4. Now, the trick with doing multiplication involving decimals is we're going to treat this like a normal multiplication. That is, 36 multiplied by 4, and then we're going to deal with the decimals at the end. So, the first thing we're going to do is 36 multiplied by 4, however you usually would do this. I'm going to go the way that you're probably being taught in school. So 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So we put the 4 there and we carry the 2. Then we have 3 times 4, which is equal to 12, plus 2, which is equal to 14. So we have this answer of 144. Now we're going to put the decimal in. So what we do is we look at the numbers we started with. We have 3.6. This has one number to the right of the decimal place, the 0.6 part. For 4, we have zero numbers to the right of the decimal place. What we do now is we add these together. So 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. And that means in our answer, we're going to have one number to the right of the decimal place. So starting from the right here, we count in 1, and we put our decimal place right there. And there you have it, we have our answer, 14.4. Really simple, right? What about we go through another example? 2.3 multiplied by 4.7. All right, so we're going to treat this like 23 multiplied by 47, and then we're going to deal with the decimals afterwards. So let's do that. So first off, we have 3 times 7, which is equal to 21. So we put the 1 there and carry the 2. Now we have 2 times 7, which is equal to 14, plus 2, which is equal to 16. So we have 161 in the top line there. Now what we do is put a zero there and we continue to the next line. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. We put the 2 there and carry the 1. 2 times 4 is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add these together. So 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. And 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. So let's deal with the decimals now. We have one number behind the decimal place here, one number to the right of the decimal place. That is that 0.3. For 4.7, we have one number also to the right of the decimal place. We add these together. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. That means our answer is going to have two numbers to the right of the decimal place. So starting at the right here, we count in two places. 1, 2. We put the decimal right there. We have our answer of 10.81. Okay, let's get a bit more difficult now. Let's go to 13.8, and to this, we're going to multiply by 6.2. All right, so we're going to treat this like 138, multiply by 62, then deal with the decimals. So let's do that. First off, we have 8 times 2, which is equal to 16. We put the 6 there, we carry the 1. We have 3 times 2, which is equal to 6, plus 1 is equal to 7. And we have 1 times 2, which is equal to 2, and we just put that in right there. For the next line, we put the 0 down first, and we go 6 times 8, which is equal to 48. So we put the 8 there, and we carry the 4. We go 3 times 6, which is equal to 18, plus 4, which is equal to 22. So 2 there, and we carry the 2 there. Finally, we have 1 times 6, which is equal to 6, plus 2, which is equal to 8. So now let's go through and add these up. So 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. We put the 5 there, carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, plus 1 is equal to 5. And the 8 just goes by there by itself. So let's work out how many decimal places we have. So in 13.8, we have one number here to the right of the decimal place. And for 6.2, we have one number also to the right of the decimal place. So we add these together. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Our answer will have two numbers to the right of the decimal place. So starting on the right here, we have 1, 2 that we come in, and our decimal place will go right there. Our answer is 85.56. All right, like I said, plenty of examples. There's another one coming. So let's get some bigger numbers now. What about 14.78? And to this, we're going to multiply by 3.9. All right, so let's go through and multiply this like it's 1,478, multiplied by 39, and then deal with the decimals afterwards. So first off, we have 9 eighths 
which is equal to 72. We put the two down there, we carry the seven. Next, we have seven nines, which is 63, plus seven, which is equal to 70. We put the zero there and carry that seven. Four times nine, which is equal to 36, plus seven, which is equal to 43. We put the three there and carry the four. We have one times nine, which is equal to nine, plus four, which is equal to 13. Okay, so we go through now to the next line. We put a zero down here and we start multiplying. So we have three times eight, which is equal to 24. So we put the four down there and carry the two. Three times seven, which is equal to 21, plus two, which is equal to 23. So we put the three there and carry the two. Three times four is equal to 12, plus two is equal to 14. So we put the four there and carry the one. And finally, we have one times three, which is equal to three, plus one is equal to four. Now what we're going to do, well, you know it, we're gonna go through and do our addition part. So two plus zero is equal to two, 4 plus 0 is equal to 4, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, and 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Now let's work out the decimals. So for 14.78, we have two numbers now to the right of the decimal place. For 3.9, we have one number to the right of the decimal place. So we add these together. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. We're going to have three numbers to the right of the decimal place in our answer. So starting at the right here, we count 1, 2, 3 in, and the decimal place goes right there. We have our answer of 57.642. How did you go with that? I'll tell you what, one last question, and it's going to be a bit bigger. All right, for our last example, we have 16.26, and to this, we're multiplying by 3.14. So obviously, we're going to be treating this like 1,626, multiply by 314, and deal with the decimals at the end. So let's do that. Six fours are 24. So we put the four there and carry the two. Two times four is equal to eight, plus two is equal to 10, zero there, one there. Six fours are 24, plus one is 25. So we put the five down and carry the two. And one times four is equal to four, plus two is equal to six. All right, to the next line. So we put a zero down and we start multiplying. One times six is equal to six. One times two is equal to two. 1 times 6 is equal to 6, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1. For the next line, we put two zeros down, and we start multiplying. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So 8 there, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is equal to 6, plus 1 is equal to 7. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So we put the 8 there, carry the 1. 1 times 3 is equal to 3, plus 1 is equal to 4. So now let's go through and add these. 4 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 4. 0 plus 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. 5 plus 2 plus 8 is equal to 15. So we put the 5 there, we carry the 1. Now we have 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12, plus 1 is 13, plus 7 is 20. So we put the 0 there and carry the 2. We have 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, plus 8 is equal to 11, so 1 with a 1 carried over. And finally, we have 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5. Now, let's sort out the decimals here. So for 16.26, we have two numbers that are to the right of the decimal place, two numbers that are decimals there. For 3.14, we also have two there. So let's go through and add these up. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So starting at the right here, we count in four decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we have it, our answer. 51.0564. And that is how you multiply with decimals. Really, really nice and easy like. So if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment telling me what you thought. A big shout out to my patrons and my subscribers and thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.